Hello everyone, this is Jamie Starr with the New World News Network. Today I just want to cover a few things real quick. Um, one of the things is, sometimes I feel bad for railing against liberals all the time, because, you know, I'm putting them in a category and just kind of bulk, you know, dismissing them and stuff. But I think it's important to understand why, and why it is necessary to object to these people. And that's because they seem to be extremely morally deficient. They're very, very, very self-righteous, but given the opportunity to voice their feelings, which they care so much about their feelings, they will always expose themselves to be morally deficient. Today we had Nancy Reagan die, and immediately, the same as Justice Scalia, which I will also show, you have people basking in it and celebrating it because they are so divided that they don't see these people as human. The moment, the moment that, you know, someone passes or anything like that because they're on the opposing team and they're on the good team, the winning team, the self-righteous, morally outstanding, loving, caring team, it's a victory. It's a victory for them. So, let's go through some of these tweets. Drinks are on me to the first gay man to kick 94-year-old Nancy Reagan in the cunt for World AIDS Day. She knows what she did and didn't do. I told my pops that Nancy Reagan died today, and he said, let the good times roll. The man, a whole clown. Nancy Reagan dies at 94. Who gives a fuck? Mike Brown died at 18. See, and this shows right there. She's on that team. Mike Brown's on the other. They care about Mike Brown. They don't care about Nancy Reagan. They don't see her as human. She is the enemy. A moment of silence. Okay, enough. Fuck Nancy Reagan. Yes, yeah, so happy Nancy Reagan died. Mad it took so fucking long. Reagan's fuck Bush. Fuck the Koch brothers. I wish they would all die. Racist fucks. Nancy Reagan was a cunt. Using this as an excuse to perpetuate inequality and arrest, kill, POC, and destroy organizations like the Black Panthers and Brown Berets. So fuck Nancy Reagan and her dead, rotting, no-good husband, too. My dad just yelled at me for saying good riddance over First Lady Nancy Reagan's death. Laughing my ass off. See, at least that person has a father who's a decent human being. See, that's the difference. These people aren't even decent human beings. You know, I, I had a friend of mine online who, when Scalia died, I may have mentioned this in a prior video, when Scalia died, she posted, ah, so that's what it feels like to have your reproductive organs freed. And I challenged her with, you know, oh, I'm, I was unaware that people were about to fuck and were like, oh, no, I can't. The Supreme Court justice said something or made some sort of ruling. Like, he never held anyone's vagina captive. But that's how these people see these things, because they're so warped. And it's, it's really sad to me, because, you know, with the way they view things as far as white supremacy or the Supreme Court having power, they don't realize that while there is a set of laws and structure and consequences for things, we are a relatively free society still. They, they're passing all these laws, but again, you, you can break them. It's a matter of if you get caught, and then the court system and everything like that. I mean, they act as if there's this tyrannical control over them, and the only thing I can think is they like it. They like the control if it's in line with what they believe. Like, a good example might be the FDA. You know, they probably like that there's a government organization that specifically allows them to use certain products. It doesn't matter if those products like toothpaste have poisonous chemicals in them that, you know, if you swallow, you have to go to the hospital. That's irrelevant. They just like the idea that there's a mommy-daddy government approving things for them, because then they don't have to think. They can continue to be children and infantilized. And I'll show you how far the, the childish activities also go in this video. So... On to Justice Scalia, you had 12 tweets of liberal journalists celebrating Scalia's death. How long can we wait till we're not sad about it, Dave Eldritch of Rolling Stone said. So if the news about Scalia is true, how long can we wait to not be sad about it? Hold your fetus at half mass outside Planned Parenthood. I wish I could be a fly on the wall for Scalia's chat with the devil. See, she, she's going to heaven. She's a good liberal 
because, you know, she approves of abortion, I guess, like this other woman who said God approves of abortion, um, feminist po political writer for Salon. Uh, Scalia died where I grew up. Does that count as serendipity? Scalia was a monster, and no one's job entitles them to respect. Really? Because I hear that all the time. If I try to make a remark about the president or, you know, anything like that, they say you have to respect the office of the presidency. Sports editor for, for the nation and frequent MSNBC guest match slammed both Scalia and Reagan in the same punch. If you are unable to assign ugly truths and actual history to someone's legacy after they die, you get airports named after them. Ronald Reagan. When political figures die, there's a race to define their memory. That memory can have powerful repercussions. So remember Scalia's victims. Who who was he victimizing? I mean, again, this is so, so ridiculous. Radical left-wing journalist tweeted that he doesn't think the don't speak ill of the dead rule applies. Don't even try to enforce the inappropriate don't speak ill of the dead rule for highly polarizing, deeply consequential Antonin Scalia. The mere act of dying does not make one a saint. Dedicating the rest of this week's marital sodomy to the memory of Anton Scalia. So, as you see, morally lacking, obviously, and this is how far the morals go. Lauren Southern, who's a sweetheart, I had had a brief conversation with her on Twitter once about wanting to clone her because I think we need more women like her was outside an event, and um, the backstory about the event, I believe there was a speaker who was supposed to be there and then was denied uh, allowing to be there, so there was a protest. Um, and you had someone, while she was outside speaking and saying that the truth is that there's only two genders, poor piss on her. And you have to think, who engages in this activity animals like monkeys and inmates and children infants it's very i mean so we can put these liberals in any of those three categories they're either inmates in their own sort of mental prison that they don't want to be freed from god forbid free speech free thought you know if you try to break them out of the prison they're just going to kick and scream the whole way they want to be in that box um, animals, which they are kind of like animals. They, they are completely morally lacking, lacking civility and infants, which they are like infants because they need to be coddled and taken care of and patted on the back and put in a safe space and kept in their bubble away from anything that may harm them because they're not capable of taking care of themselves. So let's go to the video. That you're a, you're a cisgender straight woman because uh, you obviously you I mean, are that, you really true, and that you and that you probably that. And that I you actually probably haven't ever been raped. Either. I actually identify so as an attack like, helicopter, so, me, so it's really me, offensive. You sound like you're speaking from a very privileged point of view here. Very privileged. Yes. Sorry, guys. There's only two genders. Two genders. Now, I, I wonder, I assume it's because she's straight that that makes her then privileged, and uh, because she wasn't raped makes her privileged. So I guess, like, choosing to be, what would be the opposite of privileged? Unprivileged? I, I suppose it's privileged or oppressed. No one's in between, and I guess when you, I, I mean, I yeah, if you get raped, you're obviously being oppressed in that in that moment. But it's just, it really, I, I just don't get it. Like, what's what's with this woman? I mean, it's, it's a really fucking weird day and age where the normal, what's been normal in society for thousands and thousands and thousands of years has now been viewed as a privilege. You are privileged to be normal. Female and male. This is extremely <laughs> controversial to say. Science and fact. Extremely controversial. Oh, oh my god. And there you see someone sneaks up behind her and 
pours piss on her, and, you know, it's funny because, and, and Lauren took it like a champ, of course, because that's the type of woman she is, she is strong, she is empowered, and there's, but of course, see the liberal, you know, haha, you fucking deserved it, you piece of fucking trash, laughing my ass off, laughing my queer ass off, good, you deserve cancer, I mean, that's the thing. Having a different opinion from these people, like Lauren doesn't wish harm upon anyone. I, you, you can tell that from her, her posts, from her attitudes. She just wants open dialogue. These people wish harm upon her. And it, it goes on how she's saying, you know, she wasn't hurt, she just took a shower... She's debating, you know, whether to file the charges or not, because it's it's a mess that police shouldn't have to deal with. But there's irony that these people show up in black masks, try to stop people from speaking, will use violence to attack them, and then claim they are anti-fascism, which these are some of the tactics commonly employed by fascists. But they don't know anything about anything, so they can't fucking put that together that they are the pot calling the kettle black. So, yeah, here's, you can find the rest of the article on Breitbart. I also am aware that I think she'll be interviewed by Paul Joseph Watson either tonight on InfoWars or tomorrow. It might be Monday, but that'll definitely be an interesting interview. And I think the most amazing part about it is, you know, not that Lauren isn't doing amazing things on her own, but that she is going to just get more publicity out of it. It is going to make her bigger by them doing this. But this is also, I mean, the past week or two, I've been seeing stuff like this going on with a whole bunch of people who I greatly admire. Milo's having it at every stop of his tour, which I'm sure he knew that's what he was getting into. And Ben Shapiro is also having it happen to him. And, I, you know, as far as someone who just wants to civilly speak and have their points of view not be too controversial or anything, that's it, that's Ben. So why these people, you know, they, they don't realize that by acting like jackasses, you are uh, confirming the credibility. When these people come out here and say they want them shut down, they don't want you to have free speech, they are, you know, unruly mobs and everything like that, and then they go and do this, you prove their point. And then it just backs it and gives it more momentum. So, bravo, Lauren, for taking it like a champ. You know, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do as far as pressing charges or not pressing charges. You know, do whatever legally best suits you. And like you said, the police have much better things to deal with. But at some point, I do feel like reality has to come and kick these people in the ass. And it needs to come sooner than later, because this shit is getting out of hand. So, to conclude this, not that I want to stoop down to their level, but like I've said before, and I will continue to say it, I do sort of wish all these people were walked off a bridge. Um, another point, I did see another video of Lawrence this week, and she speaks on the numerous celebrities and people claiming they are going to leave America if Trump is elected. And that's something where I've told these liberals over and over. If you're against guns, you want socialism, there's plenty of socialist countries that don't have guns. Move to them. And if Trump is the linchpin that's going to push them over that edge to actually do it, then we got to elect him. There is no other option. We, it will be the best thing for the country that could happen. So, that concludes my video. Hope everyone enjoyed.